I'm Adam Hand from the 1975, and uh, this is my main guitar. It's um, a Fano JM6, which I think is probably quite an underrated uh, mega guitar at the moment. I basically saw one of these in a shop where I lived and thought it just looked amazing, uh, and they sound amazing as well. And I thought that was such a, uh, a unique uh, mix for a custom guitar. Um, it's made in, uh, handmade in California by a guy called Dennis Fano, and you literally can choose whatever you want on it from uh, like a list of things that you will put on. Um, so this has hand-wound Fralin P90s, but you could get a lot of humbuckers in it if you wished, and you can have a Bigsby, no Bigsby, uh, and it will literally any color, the scratch plate, the body, it's just a really, really great guitar. Um, I've actually got another red and black one where the tone pot has like 10 notch positions on and actually cuts off treble instead of uh, working like a regular tone pot, which is kind of cool. Um, and they make a, a semi-hollow one, like a, a Starcaster shape called a GF6, which is uh, an amazing sounding guitar. It's just so fat. But yeah, it's just a, a really, really brilliant guitar. I mean, it's just so versatile for all aspects of sound that, that we use in the band. You know, it cleans up really nice, bright, and it will go really like muddy and, and distorted and, and horrible, but it's, it's, it's great. It is really good, yeah. In, with my red one, literally at a gig in Nottingham, we'd gone on stage and I'd gone to put it on and the, where the, the jack is mounted in the scratch plate, the, the, the jack was like caught up on stage and I put it on and it literally ripped the entire scratch plate out of the guitar. Um, and it was, that was it, it was, it was just ruined for the entire gig. And I had to literally, at the time, uh, it was literally the only decent guitar I had. And I had this other, like, knackered Ibanez, like, JTK, like, Ibanez Jet King, I think it was, that was my spare. So I had to use that for the gig while someone uh, from the venue literally gaffered the guitar up with, like, blue gaffer tape and sort of held this jack in place, like, for the last few tunes. So, yeah, it was not ideal. Hello, I'm Matthew Healy. I'm in the band uh, The 1975, and this is my guitar that I'm wearing. I am. Um, I love this guitar. It's the. It's a 1965 Mustang Fender Mustang, so it's pretty classic. It's um. It. it I. I have this story that this guitar changed my life. Really, that it, um. I went got really sad once after a breakup. And my manager, who was managing the band, has for a long time, said that I should just go away with him. He was going to Los Angeles for a couple of days, so I followed him out there. And I was just was walking around, and I found this guitar shop that had like the most amazing collection of, of, of Mustangs. And this was the first one that I picked up, and it just looked like it had had a life. I mean, it's I've played it for so much now, so all of this is gone, but... At the time, it was only worn down the bottom. And I liked the idea of it being like some somebody had just really, some really heavy band had, had had it. And it was just a beautiful guitar. And the shape of this Mustang for me is so kind of like, I don't know, classic. So I haven't really changed anything that much. I got new, I put new pickups in it. What are the pickups at? Mojo. Mojo pickups in it. Um, and it's starting to, you know, get as battered as I always wanted. This wasn't here when I bought it, and, you know, it's an old boy, 1965. So then after that, I went and bought, I went crazy on them. I've got like a 68, 78, and it's, I think I've got another 65. I've got loads of them, but I love them, and um, I couldn't really, I couldn't really be without this guitar. So that's, that's my guitar.